here and what in the world? You got, I hope you get this on camera. What in the world is he wearing? This is my carnal suit. This is my flesh. And after a while, if I've been away from God, I get pretty gaudy. <laughs> We're our new sister. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, the Bible says to do what with our flesh? Take off our flesh. Crucify our old man. Can you say amen? amen? And so a lot of times, and this is what I want to say to you. A lot of times in our Christianity, we are serving God in the natural. God doesn't want you to serve him by the natural. He wants you to serve him in the spirit, in your heart. Can you say amen? Amen. So the thing that happens to a lot of people, they mean well, and I, I was one. I was working hard to try to please God. And I was doing this, and I had two kids, and I was in full-time in ministry, and I was doing that. And one day I made the mistake of asking God how, how he felt I was doing. And there was silence in heaven for a space of a half an hour. <laughs> God, how am I doing? See, here's the thing. Christians, we already won in Christ. Can you say amen? Intercessors, as several of you are intercessors like I am, who love to pray, do not pray and do not fight in the natural. Paul says, I don't fight as one who beats the air. But I learned to pray. And so today we got a wonderful lesson for all of us. But to learn how to administrate and how to move in the presence of God. Can you say amen? All right, so what does the Bible say? The Bible says that when we come into God, we're to take off our old man and lay it at the living altar. Can you say amen? And here's how powerful the flesh is. Can the flesh hold itself up? No, it keeps on falling down. You try to, okay, Lord, I'm going to serve. So we know that no man in the flesh can please, come on, no man in the flesh, Romans 8, cannot please God. We have to please God from our inner man. Say amen. Now what in the world is this? This is my carnal mind. This is my wanting to impress you, wanting to dazzle you with my Bible college understanding. This is me not having one Bible, but bringing two Bibles to church. This is the intellectualism Christian. Amen. The Bible says we are not to lean to our own, but in all our ways, acknowledge him. The word, be aware of him and have conversation with him. To acknowledge him means to be aware of God daily throughout the day and have conversation with him. Hello? Religion says, oh, you're unworthy. The Israelites, bless their heart, I love them. Been to Israel. It's wonderful. But the Israelites were told not even to use the word Yahweh, you see. Rather change it to Adonai. Because we don't want to offend God. In the Old Testament, they didn't understand a God indwelling them. Abraham had the promise of God. He was very close to God. Moses very close to God. But many of them had no prayer life. They had no way of interceding. That's why the disciples came to Jesus. Remember? He said, Jesus, teach us to pray. As John taught his disciples. So folks, what are we to do with our carnal mind? Yes. Never come to church with these two items. <laughs> Say amen, somebody.